you've been playing Minecraft wrong. See, back in 2015, Mojang released the Minecraft Construction Handbook, one of the four sacred texts to help you master Minecraft. And today, we're gonna be seeing if they can actually help you or if it's just better to look up a tutorial online. To get started on these builds, I needed to find a good spot to put them. Alright, I think I found a good spot to build my base, so what are the first steps? Okay, looks like we gotta make an outline of cobblestone. And with that, the basic outline of our house is complete. Oh. One quick fix later and we're back in business. Well, I'm not really sure how tall to make it, so we'd recommend at least one or two blocks of space above your head so it doesn't feel too cramped. Okay, let me stand here for a cool transition in three, two, one, and there we go. Next, fill in the ground with wooded planks, and there we go. Now, according to the guide, it's actually easier to fill in the walls instead of just making the windows on their own. So I guess... And there we go. This build is looking pretty bad right now, but that's about to change because we're gonna put in some windows. Okay, it looks like they want us to build our windows like this. There's all the windows completed, now for some doors. Okay, now we just have to add doors and torches. It looks like mobs are already spawning in here. Okay, the inside and outside are already all lit. That's a thing? All right, that's the basic shape of the roof completed. Now let's add it on all the sides. Oh, but wait, Mojang actually wants us to add a layer of depth to the build. Good job on telling me of that, Mojang. Here's a sticker. All right, it's time to build the rest of the roof. Here we go. After I finished this side, I noticed that there was a little bit of a mistake. Okay, nice. Now the roof and both of the sides are completed. What's next? Okay, the guide says to add some balconies. It also says to add a chimney. Apparently, you can also use cobwebs to make it look like smoke is coming out of the chimney. Next, it says to add some windows on the roof. And with this, the perfect Minecraft house is completed. Now it's time to start working on the decorative garden, which will go in the back of the house. To start, we have to make an outline of wood. Dig out an area for the swimming pool, add leaves on top of the wood, make the pool deeper, add walls, add water, add a stage, make a garden, add some trees. And with that, the house is completed. Let's have a quick tour. This is just one of the nine builds that I'm going to be recreating from the handbook. Anyway, let's get back to building. The next build that we're going to be making is the fortified wall, which shouldn't take too long. Start off with an outline, build the walls up, fortify the wall. Now it's time to do something illegal. Make a circle. Okay, I'm going to build a circle right here. Okay, that part is completed, and they want me to build it at least twice as tall as the wall. Okay, well, this part is finally completed. I hope I don't have to add any details to it. Well, shit. This is why you're getting take it or leave it. Then you set everything on fire by making a torch at the top. And with that, this build is completed. Now we're starting to get into the harder builds because for this next one, we have to make a 19 by 30 by 10 block outline. Okay, the outline is completed. Something weird that I noticed about this build is that you actually have to build the frames of the windows before the walls. Meanwhile, in this build, you have to actually build the walls first and then destroy everything for the windows. Oh, and did you also know that carpets are fireproof? Don't care? Well, f you, because I'm telling you about it anyway. Add a royal carpet down the center of your hole that stops just before the area where your throne will sit. Yes, that's right, you're going to have a throne. That is a legitimate sentence in the book, I'm not even joking right now. Okay, we're actually making pretty good progress on this build. What's next? Looks like we have to add some pillars in. Alright, there's the roof. Okay, nice, we finished the roof. Alright, so let's add some fence blocks in the middle, and some glowstone, and that's it. Now that this build is complete, I thought I'd share a couple of things that I really liked about it. Okay, the next thing in the book is a suspension bridge. There is no way I'm making it this big. Oh god, this is gonna be a mistake. Now we have to build an arch underneath the bridge? Okay, I guess that's the first one done. And that is that side done. And the other side. Now we're adding some detail to it. That honestly looks pretty good. Alright, that's one. And two. Okay, making arches is hard, but I think I finally made a decent one. Just gotta repeat it a couple of times. And finally, it's finished. I actually think that this is a pretty neat build, so without further ado, let's get on to the next one. The next build is a stained glass poppy. I think that this mountain is a fine spot to build it. Now instead of starting out with glass, we actually have to make an outline out of cobblestone and black wool. Well, there's your outline for you, Mojang. Now time to destroy all my hard work and turn it into glass. And we are done. 
This build isn't really too much, so let's move on to the next one. I'm just gonna gloss over this next one because it's pretty much the same thing as this one, just a little bit harder. Make an outline, fill it in with wool, and replace the wool with glass. Now it's time to make the ocean temple. This one is rated one out of three, so it should be pretty easy. That's all the items we're gonna need for it, so let's get building. This build starts off pretty easy with a simple 11 by 11 square. Then you add some walls to it. Okay, we got the walls done, but it still looks like garbage. Then you gotta make it a little bit taller. Oh no, we reached the build limit. Whatever will I do? Now that's what I like to see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. I have to add detail to it. Now I might be getting a little bit ambitious here, but I want to go higher. Quick progress update, we're at Y level 1983 right now, and I think I'm gonna stop here. And there we go. The second to last build is a floating island, and honestly, I think it would be pretty cool if we built it up here with this building. Alright, that's step number one complete. Step number two is to add blocks below the top of the island, working in towards the center. Alright, that's step number two complete. Uh, I don't want to do this step. not want to know how long this took me. Step number four is to add grass blocks, trees, and flowers. Now that we have the grass layer done, it's time to build a castle. First we have to mark a basic outline. Wow, that almost went off the edge. It says to make the walls five blocks tall, and the tower is eight blocks tall. Now that that's complete, we're on to step number three, which isn't really that hard because we just kind of have to fill this stuff in, and also add wood around the entrance. And finally, we have to build a roof on top of each tower. And with that, this build is completed. Now for the hardest build in the book, the galleon ship. All right, let's jump down. Okay, so I think I'm gonna build it right here. It's now a good time to say that I have literally no idea how to build a boat. Okay, well, that took me far longer than it should have. Now, for some reason, the next step is to fill in the entire ship. Now, apparently we're supposed to use birch planks because it contrasts well with the ship. But does it really? Honestly, yeah, it looks fine. And with some slabs added, it kind of makes it look better. Now it's time to fill in the deck. Okay, so that part took a little bit longer than it should have, but now it's time to build the sails. Now we have to actually outline the sails with white wool. If you made it this far into the video, then consider subscribing. This video took me a really long time to make and it would mean the absolute world to me. Anyway, back to the video. Oh my god, building sails should not be this hard. I mean, the front one and back ones were easy to build, but the middle ones I had to destroy like three times just to get them to look good. And the final detail is just to add a couple of red flags at the top. And finally, the last build in the book. Having a difficulty rating of 3 out of 3, taking up 6 pages of the book, and having some of the most diverse materials in the entire game. It's a roller coaster. Anyway, at this point, I think we all know how it goes. Create an outline, then position the rails on top of the wood planks, and then you have to add a... Tunnel? Now we have to add supports to it because if we didn't, well... Add stair blocks to the side of the track where it runs uphill to give it an authentic look. Alright, two more steps and we're done with the book. Okay, we gotta make this thing and also for some reason Moeying suspenser is facing the wrong direction. And finally, we have to add some lights. Finally, we're done. Wait, what is this? What's happening right now? So this is where you have been this entire time. Making a city to do what? Keep me out? You realize that this city means nothing to me. I will sacrifice it all to destroy you. Do not look away, Il, for you witness the death of this world and the birth of my enemy.